So we are in chapter 9 still in 9.2 graph of simple harmonic motion so so in the previous subtopic we learned that 9.1 is about equation of simple harmonic motion so we are going to focus on displacement and time graph so we know that the general equation for displacement is x equals to a sine omega t plus phi okay so when t is for the first case is when t is equal to 0 x equals to 0 so what we got to do is we substitute this value in displacement equation so x equals to a sine omega t plus phi so just sub the value for x is equal to 0 and t equal to 0 we're going to get a shift sine 0 equal to phi so we're going to phi equal to 0 therefore we're going to get this equation here x equal to a sine omega t so basically here is a, a simple sinusoidal graph so kita first we look at the axis first so y component is x the unit is meter then the t is second so when we have the drawing this one at least can a one and half cycle tak boleh one cycle only can a one and half lah okay so the highest point for this question x will be amplitude at the bottom will be negative a so you have the value you need to put on the value then for one full cycle satu full cycle satu pusingan lengkap we're going to have period ingat t is defined as time taken for one full cycle ataupun oscillation okay so there's over t one and half over t half lah Okay then, for the next case is when t is equal to 0, x equal to positive a. Same thing as what we did before, you need to substitute t equal to 0 and x equal to positive a for the graph uh, in the displacement equation. So a equal to a sine phi so we, because of t is 0. So shift sine 1 equal to phi. So phi equal to pi over 2 remember that we cannot use 90 degree eh, because phi the unit for phi is radian so we need to put in, in term of pi kalau tak pun is 3.142 bahagi dengan 2 11.7 radian so our equation going to be like this ok x equals to a sine omega t plus pi over 2 ataupun it can also be written as x equals to a cos omega t Okay, because of trigonometric identity, sine omega t plus pi over 2 can also be written as x equals to a cos omega t. So, graph cos kita akan kelihatan seperti inilah. Just that, sama juga at the top of uh, the axis x equal meter t second, the maximum displacement for y will be amplitude and negative amplitude. Okay, one full cycle will be t lah. Okay, kalau tak, you can see as a notation on the left here, yang kat sini ni. If phi equal to positive value, we shift the y axis to the right. Okay, so basically, kita comparekan dengan graph yang first one here, yang dekat A ni. Okay, so dia kata we shift to the right, maksudnya, kita gerakkan. So basically, one full cycle, saya tukar ni eh. Tengok yang A ni. This will be 2 pi. This will be pi. Kalau ikut phase diagram tu, this is 3 pi per 2. Here will be pi per 2. Okay, kalau dia kata kalau phi is positive, we need to shift the y axis to the right. To the right for how, for how many? Kita akan tengok is pi per 2. Tengok yang B ni eh, pi per 2. X equal to A sin omega t plus pi per 2 means that the phi is pi per 2 radian means that we need to shift the y axis sebanyak pi per 2. Okay, kalau kita tengok kat sini. Saya uh, tengok yang A eh original equation, kita compare dengan graph sign biasa dahulu so, kita shift sebanyak pi per 2, kita gerakkan ni so, kita akan gerakkan dia jadi macam ni this will be our new y axis therefore, kita akan dapat graph macam ni lah, ataupun lagi senang, it's a cos graph uh, x equals to a cos omega t, ok, cuma that, we need to, you need to notice that the period will be different lah from the graph a Sebab apa? Kalau tadi one full cycle A tu dekat bawah Kalau for cost graph ni Dia punya T will be there Okay 
for C is equal for C when T is equal to zero, X equals to negative A. So it's negative A equals to A sine V because T is zero. Kita compare dengan displacement eh? yang ini atas ni is equal to just call it displacement equation. Okay, so negative A bahagi dengan A, so negative 1, so shift negative 1 equal to phi, so phi akan dapat 5 per 2. So the equation we're going to get at the bottom here lah, x equal to A sine omega t minus 5 per 2. So as we know that, if, if the phi value is negative, we need to shift y as is to the left. Okay, sama juga. Kau tengok balik graph yang pertama ni. Okay, so dekat sini kita ada dekat sini juga maksudnya lebih to the left ni adalah pi per 2 will be pi so it's minus pi per 2 means that we need to shift our as is to the left for pi per 2 so dia akan start dekat bawah dia jadi macam ni ataupun we discuss that Negative pi per 2 also, this can also be written as x equal to a sine omega t plus 3 pi over 2. So, kalau we look at the graph at a, kita gerakkan sebanyak pi per 2, this is pi 2 pi. Because it's positive, we are shifting your y axis to the right sebanyak 3 pi per 2. So, your y axis will look like this. This will be your new y. Okay, so graph awak akan start dekat bawah lah. That's why I said graph uh, graph displacement ni equation displacement it depends on the starting point. Kalau start dekat di equilibrium equation lain, start dekat amplitude equation lain and so on. Ataupun the third case x also can be written as negative a cos omega t. Kalau kita tengok graph yang kedua, second part of the graph because it's positive the, we start at positive amplitude but it's negative a we're going to start at the bottom here okay for this graph you need to memorize all these things lah. okay cuma that what you need to know is we need to know the trigonometric identity ni. so you ingat x equals to a sine omega t the graph sine saya padam balik eh so a sine omega t is a sine graph kalau start dengan amplitude will be positive amplitude Akan jadi x equals to a cos omega t. Kalau start with negative amplitude, it will be x equals to negative a cos omega t and so on.